Good morning, family. Good morning, family. I missed the huddle last night. I had a migraine, but I am going to get an MRI to see why I keep having these migraines. I don't know what's going on. I think I'm just getting old, but we're going to pray about that. Amen. Like, I wanted to just swing by and talk to you about the flying monkeys. Um, it is that time. It is that season. The leaves are changing. Everything is going to be, it's the holiday, and it's time for the flying monkeys to start delivering the little messages from the narcissist and it's time for hoovering because thanksgiving are coming up and you know they're all turkeys so yeah we can <laughs> we could be expecting to be hoovered um I, I i really wanted to um touch bases on you about flying monkeys um i know that um my flying monkey was my niece and it was very hurtful because i felt like my niece chose the narcissist over me for someone who she knew me all her life and and she continued to run back and forth and tell him things and then she would come back and say oh he said you was talking about me auntie and he showed me a text and i said well, what did the text say she couldn't answer that so it, 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 actually i just wanted to know do you forgive the flying monkey and just act like nothing happened or do you forgive them and just keep them at the same pace that 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 you are in and i am on that level with that i am on the level that i really don't want to be bothered um with her anymore um it was hurtful to me because of the fact that you knew that he was abusing me amen and you knew that the things that were going on in my home um after i did do the discard and after everything and you even took more to him you know what i'm saying instead of taking into your auntie and it really bothered me so i was just thinking about that about the flying monkeys and it is that time of season that they are going to start coming out because the narcissist is is out here and it is holidays and they do want to spend holidays with us but that ain't gonna happen because we ain't gonna let it happen amen so i just wanted to throw that out there do you forgive the flying monkey and do you do you forgive them and let things start over or do you forgive them and you continue to walk in your your new journey without them and that was just something that i was pondering because that is my niece and i was just pondering or considering i was just considering what do i do and i think that was something that i made up to myself was that i do not i do not um want to have that um, in, in entanglement anymore. I do not because now I you the trust is broken. So I can't feel like I can tell you anything without you going back and telling the narcissist. Amen. So that's just how I feel about that. I don't know how you guys feel. You'll tell me in the comment section. But look, <laughs> God is good. Let me go ahead on and just say the healing circle. All right. So I don't know. Some of these changes seem, uh, some of these um, times seem to be changing. So I'm going to stop putting times. I'm just going to say the healing circle. I do know that some people are very, um, they they keep their times at the at, at the same. So I'm just going to start with tonight, which is Thursday. We have a tea on MPD and relationships every Thursday at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and she will definitely bring a word from the Lord on tonight. Amen. And then we have Friday at um, eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time, healing your silence. Then we have a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Harrier over the top, aka Harry Thornton. He will be on at nine o'clock Eastern Standard Times on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um, Alicia Breeze. Um, I guess you can go and look um, on her community tab and see when she will be doing something. I thought it was Wednesdays, but I read this morning that it's Thursday, so I don't know. So, but it is Alicia Breeze. AliciaBreeze.com. You can look that up as well. And then we have um, Pink Girl Teaches every Sunday, seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and you, she would definitely bring a awesome word from the lord as well and then once not saving the last not saving the last because i still have to say my spiritual father but chatting with Shelly this tuesday chatting with Shelly we're going to do some prophesizing we have my spiritual brother prophet byron walker is going to be back and he's going to prophesize a little bit and he's going to bring a word from the lord that is going to be mighty and powerful and i am so excited because it is much needed I want to thank Kanita J for coming in and telling her story. It was beautiful. And I think that um, we we did a good job with that. I did not get a chance to do a video on yesterday to thank her, but I do thank you, Kanita. I think that we did hit a spot that we knew that we needed to start on your healing. And that is wonderful. And now we know what happened and 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 you can work on your healing. Amen. I think that was wonderful. And if you did, if you did miss it, go back and check it out. It was very, very awesome. 
and everyone that showed up it's just it was just awesome so i just wanted to stop in and just tell you guys that i love you i am still having these migraines and i just wanted to um you know put me in your prayers put me in your prayers i am definitely praying for you guys you know i love you guys with all my heart you are my family you are my sisters and brothers and and i love you and i cannot wait we were all talking about doing a meet and greet maybe for new year's eve or something um somewhere like meeting halfway if it's new york or you know somewhere like that but that would be awesome and i think that will be something that we all know so we would have faces to go with the names amen i think that will be wonderful but we'll check into all that but look i'm not gonna hold you because i am sitting here in the car and i do have to be to work and i just wanted to stop by and let you know that i love you watch out for the flying monkeys watch out for the flying monkeys because these flying monkeys it is that time and and the narcissist is definitely trying to come back because it's getting cold the new supply is sick of them <laughs> And I just want us to stay no contact. Stay no contact. Be be try to work on self and and work on your inner healing. And once you start working on your inner healing, you'll start rebirthing who you are. Amen. And that's something that's very special. And it took it took me a long time to rebirth who I was. Amen. And it took me a long time to discover who I was. And now that I know that I am a child of God and God has used me as a, as a mighty vessel. I am, I am, when I'm telling you that God is using me as a mighty vessel, that I am enjoying my new church. I am enjoying the missionaries. I am enjoying the things that, that is going on. And I just love being in this situation. I love being single. I love having my home to myself. I don't have to worry about taking care of nobody. I don't have to worry about cooking for nobody that don't work no way. It's just, I'm, it's just a, a treat to be able to have your own and to be able to walk and the authority and the dignity that God wants you to walk with because we have went through so much with these narcissists and we, we are, some of us are still ruminating and that's something that we're going to start talking about as well is the rumination and 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 trying to get past that because that was a hard thing for me ruminating was very hard for me and i know that it is hard for some of you guys as well because but once you begin to heal once you begin to heal hallelujah once you begin to heal the rumination will stop and you you will you will start moving towards what you're supposed to be moving towards amen and it is a blessing and i am so so happy to be starting to work with some of you guys so check out my check out my website www.chattingwithchelly.com i am love i would love to pray with some of you guys hit me up email me chattingwithchelly at gmail.com and just leave me a quick little message if you want prayer i will pray with you if you don't if you can't talk because the narcissist is there we can text we can text anytime. It does not matter. I am here for you. I want you to heal. I want you to feel like I feel. I feel marvelous. And, and I thank God. I thank God for bringing me out. And I thank God for not allowing the narcissist to come back into my life. And, you know, I just thank God. God, God has really been there with me through all of this. And with that being said, I just want to, you all to have a wonderful day. I want you to stay prayed up today. I want you to smile today. And I want you to know that if God is for you, who can be against you? That's the only person you need is God. Go into your home, go into your safety zone, go into your isolation and work on yourself. Work on your inner healing. Feel what you went through. Face what you went through so that you can begin to share it. And once you begin to share it, a healed people help heal people. Amen. So I just wanted to stop by and let you know that because I did not get a chance to do a video on yesterday because I was not feeling well. So I just wanted to stop by and let you know that. Amen. I love you guys so much. And just know that we will all be healed at the top and i mean that we will all be healed and we are going to start doing more things together as a healing community and as 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 a family because we are a family okay i love you guys y'all have a good one